Hello, it's Doug Barefoot Adventure, day 76, I believe, of my thousand day adventure. And today is Saturday, and what's interesting about that is I was raised Seventh-day Adventist, um, no longer Seventh-day Adventist, and one of the big things about the Seventh-day Adventist is the take the day off, um, it's the day of the worship. For me, I have gotten rid of that idea, I just kind of like it as the day of relaxation. Well, today what was interesting is I have been getting um, back into the flow, back into my patterns, back into my schedule, and down to I'm writing on my board exactly what I should be doing at certain times of the day. And it's great because I wake up at a certain time, I start doing my um, Qigong practice and other things, and things flow and I get them done. So today, um, even though it's not a spirit or a religious thing, I just like to wake up when I want to, no set time, and then just go through my day. Wow, what a difference it is when you don't have a schedule. Because what happens is, next thing I know, it's 11 o'clock. Next, thing I know, and I'm just sitting around drinking coffee, Evan. And next thing I know, it's 1 o'clock. We went for a short drive today, and boom, 3, 3.30. When you don't have a schedule, when you're not um, in a routine, time can slip away so fast. And that's what happened to me over the last um, four or seven years. Even though I was in a deep um, spiritual journey, next thing I know, you know, weeks gone, months gone, a year is gone. And before I knew it, I was on that ranch for four years. While I'm grateful for my time and I learned it, it was, a lot of it was because I didn't have a pattern. I didn't have something I was really going for. I was just letting time fly. So today, the lesson that I've got out of this is, yes, let's get back on the wagon. Let's get my schedule. Let's stick to it. I'm going to keep this day that I take off, yet I see how powerful patterns are, sticking with them, checking to them, upgrading them, and getting this integrated into your life in a way that we can move forward. So that's it for now. Another day in the can. I went for a great drive um, up, let's see, where are we? Um, that way. <laughs> Um, went up into Sonora. Oh my gosh, I love this gold country. I don't know why I didn't see it the same way I did now. We're, I'm starting to make a checklist. I'm going to be doing some trips and taking you along with me to show you what's out there. So that's it for now. That's another day of the camp. Talk to you later.